Hello my fellow Amart subscribers, so you wanna Hello my fellow Amart subscribers, so you wanna know how to make some good Hello my fellow Amart subscribers, so you wanna know how to make some good YouTube videos that is absolutely epic if I do say so myself. Alright, alright, here we go. Hello my fellow Amart subscribers, so you want to know how to make some good YouTube videos. That is pretty epic if I do say so. Yo, 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 with the flow down low in the hoe, that is the way to go. What is poppin', my pimple? So you want to know how to make some quality content and entertain the introverted masses. You want your name to be included in the elite hall of fame that includes the likes of Angry Gator, John Trump, Philly Frank, Sir, You want to make a difference in society. You want to change the world. All of that is very hashtag cool. As you can see, I am the green screen, and I symbolize the process of bringing all that weirdly specific crap you've got on your mind into the big leagues of reality. Listen to what I have to say you suck you're a piece of garbage and will continue existing as a piece of garbage until the day you die in which case you'll just exist as a piece make no mistake no matter how many times you try to turn things around as long as you're alive you will always absolutely suck even if you manage to become the greatest man to ever walk the face of the planet the planet will find a way to make sure that actually you really do kind of suck even if you do something as fantastic as finding the cure to cancer before going on to have sex with your smoking hot girlfriend boyfriend etc you still organically suck this is especially the case when it comes to getting started with YouTube content production because everyone inevitably just sucks so gully dang much at the beginning. You just can't help but post cringe and lose subscriber even when your sub count is zero. Whatever kind of cool thingy that happened in your video is overshadowed by the fact that you're an amateur. Did I ever mention that you suck? Alright, now that I engraved that lovely lesson into your thick skull, why don't you just keep it there? Embrace it. Don't whine and complain like all the hopeless fools out there that can't take any criticism. You suck and you should also swallow to put it more benevolently. By swallowing the suck, you will become more self-aware of the stuff you do that sucks a little more and the stuff you do that sucks a little less. Get rid of the stuff that sucks a little more and prioritize the stuff that sucks a little less. We all, one way or another, Another want to suck a little less now, don't we? I mean, the experience does tend to be a goal that relatively more interesting people strive to accomplish. Here's a piece of advice that, believe it or not, helps. Someone help me! Will you help me? All right, old man. We'll help you out. You will? Oh! Starting content production off small by making videos about niche topics that people have the energy to type up on the search engine but not enough energy to make videos off of works wonders because that easily can give you views and views can give you comments and comments can give you feedback. It's okay to sacrifice some of your time into making content you normally wouldn't want to make as long as it serves the purpose of making more quality videos in the long run. It's also okay to stylistically take lots of inspiration from a favorite YouTube channel or maybe multiple favorite YouTube channels. However, just be aware it is never not about the process of creating better and better and better and better and better, and better. 3,000 times better more quality videos what kinds of quality videos you ask well what do you have to say I have entered full pretentious gatekeeping mode do you want to say something that hasn't been said before do you want to show appreciation or disdain for something that changed your life forever do you want an excuse to show off your dank editing skills dare I ask do you want to make the me oh. for you to possess the incentive of entertaining the introverted masses with quality content your reason needs to be impaired Impeccably strong. Impeccably strong, I say. Fuck all these limp dick attention seekers and chicken shit sponsorship fishers. Fuck all this 24-7 spew of clickbait and low effort bullshit. The ability to create quality YouTube content is reserved for the chosen ones, and judging from the fact that you're still listening to me speak such unmitigated truths means you must think you're one of them. You truly are quite the sucker. You leave me no choice but to shove more advice into your stupid, dumb, idiot face. Additional advice, number one. Don't be afraid to express yourself. The last thing we need as a society managed by incompetent bastards is a cowardice wretch who is too terrified to say what they want to say because they might get cyberbullied or maybe even criticized for In it. In my personal opinion, don't, don't be, a, be pussy. a pussy. Be that be dog that, that changes change after, after the pussy. People have more in common with each other than you might think, and there are so many gosh dang people on 
online. If you say a bunch of stuff that you believe is hashtag based, people that are characteristically similar to you are most likely going to also believe that is hashtag based. Your personality may suck, but it's also damn precious. Unless you're like some piss face who can't stand cancel culture, but only because it prevents them from calling people the n-word on Twitter. Mob 7 looking ass. Advice number 10. Be different. You might not be aware of this, so let me give you the scoop. Every person is characteristically similar, but also precious in their own way. Take advantage of that. If you appreciate that video style with a crazy amount of edits designed to get children with crippling ADHD to pay attention to something for once in their life, but also prefer covering high attention span topics, there's nothing stopping you from combining those two aspects you enjoy into one single form of enjoyable content. If your childhood consists of being addicted to flip note stick figure battles, why not add that to the as well. Maybe even create your own background music using the saxophone you're somewhat good at playing. Or maybe even add a little bit of flying boom sound effect because you're a meme machine and also a sexual deviant and also a war criminal and also a five-dimensional eldritch abomination. As long as it all comes across in a way that gives you a brain gas. It was number three. Wait for the ideas to come to you. This is what separates the Giga Chads from the... If you wish to make YouTube videos that absolutely shred, you must first mind your own business and then suddenly exclaim, Wait, what the frick? That thought that randomly crossed my mind is so sick that I want to do something about it. If you find yourself frantically searching for anything to talk about, you're going to come across as a, what's the word I'm looking for? There's definitely a PG Christian friendly word that doesn't offend minorities that expresses exactly what I want to express. Oh yeah, a fake bitch. Ha! You want me to let you in on a little secret? To make it easier for yourself to wait for the ideas to come to you, you should try experiencing this stimulating sensation known as noticing shit. To give you an example, Amart here's video, Toby Fox is a Madman, was created after paying close attention to Toby Fox's stylish rise and influence across multiple platforms throughout 2019. Mark here felt like he was the perfect man to make a video like that one right there as he admired Mr. Fox, didn't have to do that much research, and spoke directly from the heart. You could tell how passionate that this video came off by just paying attention to the tone alone. Videos like these should be made rapid fire 24-7 all the time, but they don't because everyone just sucks. Advice not by far. Ignore the haters. Despite this philosophy getting horrifically poisoned by those who call themselves influencers, <laughs> I'm getting flashbacks. The comment section can be a scary place for a quality content creator who managed to get one of their videos viral, spitting out phrases such as L plus mm, ratio. Why is this in my recommended? Everything about this this video didn't have this very specific detail that I wanted. This life, I'll sell you a Tommy Yannick club. We live in a society where TikTok exists and people have irresponsibly low attention spans. Screw anyone that sounds like a miserable 12 year old. That includes your parents too. Your parents are 100% going to serve as your biggest head because they want little o you to cease wasting your life creating stupid videos they don't understand in order to make it in society the safest, most efficient way they know how. Of course, all that talk is beta reactionary bullshit. You should never care about the money. You should always care about busting out bangers non-stop like the legendary content creator you should strive to turn into. Full steam ahead. Advice number five. Objectively self-reflect. After each one of the bangers you publish onto the tube, you should always objectively reflect on what you just created. Was all this time and effort I put into creating my video worth it? Are there any places where I need to improve? The answer to the first question should be no, and the answer to the second question should be yes. Every Every single time, objectively, your content sucks and you suck and you need to improve. That is never not going to be the law. No matter how much mental anguish you put yourself through, no matter how many times you cry yourself to sleep, you must always accept the fact that your content sucks and you suck and you need to improve. You, my friend, you have a legacy to establish. And we both know that the world pays more attention to the legacy than the petty life concerns one faces in order to establish that legacy. I mean, if anyone thinks that sounds too diabolically crazy, are, are, are you trying to piss me off? Open your fucking eyes! That's what I'd say to them. What are people going to be more interested in? The ASDF movie collection or the problems that came with making the ASDF movie collection? Pixar films, or whatever mental health problems the staff had at the time of making Pixar films. Using nail clippers to clip your nails are the fucking history of how nail clippers came to be. People are going to give more of a shit about a quality product than whatever life problems came in the way of making said quality product. Do I have to repeat myself again? I honestly think I do. 
Because people just want to cling to stuff that prevents them from perfecting the product. All this junk food addiction, pornography addiction, drug addiction, video game addiction, social media addiction, not wanting to go to the gym addiction, not wanting to sacrifice this or that addiction. It's infuriating! We establish our most prestigious goal of accomplishing all these wonderful dreams, and then several years later, go on to complain about how things didn't turn out the way we wanted. Conveniently, completely turning a blind eye to the fundamental bad habits that held us down along the way. You need to make quality content. Go to one of those Best Buys, pick up a blue snowball microphone and a webcam, both fairly cheap. Install the pirated version of a very expensive editing software. Become a pirate, become Jack Sparrow, drink a mega pint of red wine before beating your wife for taking a massive shit on your bed. I don't care. Make quality content. When facing an incredibly difficult video game boss, die at the last moment so you can effectively create some good slapstick comedy. Put yourself through a long existential crisis so you can go on to effectively create a series of analog horror that covers themes of existentialism. Get a bachelor's degree in anthropology and effectively, in a single vlog, rant about how you've wasted the past four years of your life. Develop a terminal illness so you can effectively make Let's Play videos while taking on this happy, optimistic persona. Keep consistently, efficiently making quality content all the time. That's the only reason why we exist. It's the only reason why we exist. That's the only reason why we... Why... What's this now? You think it's just all too much for you? You think you're unfit? You think you're only human? <laughs> <laughs> Only human. Oh, cry me a goddamn river. There's nothing more human than to find the emptiness of this universe has faithfully cursed us with the crap the greatest quality content of all time. Turning ourselves into gods in the process and usurping this wretched realm out of spiteful of creator. It is utterly repugnant to accept the definition of humanity without acknowledging and worshiping what's written in bold. The bold, beautiful words that evolved from life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness into immortality, boundlessness, and the pursuit of unlimited ecstasy. Hey, it's me, Amart. I'm a YouTuber with quite a lot of subscribers. I'd like to preface this by saying that this is not the Amart YouTube persona speaking to you at the moment. It's the man behind the persona.